we are back with another youtube video <laughs> it is the caramel gamer i hate these intros because they're so flippin cringy but you already know who it is we're back with a new video today it is an instagram q a so i put a post up the other day just saying hey guys if you have any questions you want to answer me well ask me cut that out any questions you want to ask me please feel free to put them in an instagram question and i will do it in a youtube review i'm very new to the youtube thing well not new but obviously we're trying to expand into youtube now so any feedback you guys can give me honestly is out of this world uh, massive massive shout out to all my instagram peeps with the questions i really appreciate it guys thank you for all the support we hit 1200 twitch subscribers which to this day if you could put some explosions there put some explosions there blows my mind thank you to every single one of you guys um i i yeah i can never i can never say thank you enough but i'm gonna try keep pushing content out for you guys so thank you i hope you enjoy the video Blow. okay and boom we've got the first question from my homie ryan dernley uh he says if you could live anywhere in the world where would it be love from roses if i could live anywhere in the world really good question um I've been quite a few places. I've been Australia. I've been to Zimbabwe. I grew up in South Africa, as some of you know. Uh, and of course, I'm currently living in the UK. If I could have anywhere I would live in the world, probably would be Mauritius. I don't know if anyone knows where Mauritius is, but it's a beautiful, beautiful, I can't England. It's a beautiful, beautiful island. Uh, I'm pretty sure in Africa, I, that might be stupid, but I think it's in Africa. Um, but yes, it's beautiful. That's one place I would want to live next question from the homie jay griffiths thank you my brother where do you see yourself in 5.24 years okay buddy this is isolated jake by the way where do i see myself within five years it's a really good question uh i get asked this quite a lot personally when it comes to content creation i like to set myself very short-term goals so i don't like to think too far into the future because you never know what's going to happen um like uh, uh, like an example at the moment this uh coronavirus is absolutely crazy man it's uh, scary and no one could have expected this but i like to set myself short-term goals uh realistic goals as well and that's what i aim to complete that is pretty much my journey um and that's what i work by so i don't see myself anywhere i'm just going to keep doing and hopefully everything works out boom number three b summers tv one of my little brothers in the stream what are the main things you want to change for this year and next year um change i don't want to change anything i'm happy with how everything's going at the moment um what i want for this year and next year my main goal at the moment is twitch partner so as soon as i hit twitch partner i'll be very 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 happy with myself it'll be one of the biggest achievements of my life we're over halfway there we just got to keep pushing but that's the only thing I'm looking forward to this year and hopefully next year. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, we move on to question number four, which is from Little Mad, who's actually my cousin. What was the first thought when it came to creating your setup? So the first thought when it came to creating my setup, um, I used to stream off of PS4, which I don't think a lot of people actually knew about. Uh, but yeah, that's where I actually came up with the thought that I would like to move on to PC gaming. I feel like PC gaming is probably the most convenient thing to do when it comes to streaming because everything is right there. Um, yeah, and obviously you have a lot more things when it comes to your streaming setup. I have, obviously, you can get a camera, uh, loads of lighting. I've got three screens now, which is a part of the setup. But one of the main things I thought about when I was actually creating my setup is the amount of space I have. I need as much space as possible so I can simply just... So I've got so much space to move, which is what we tend to do. That was quite cringy thinking about it, but that's what we tend to do during our streams. Um, we just tend to go a bit crazy. So that's that's the main thing I thought. A space, equipment, and obviously upgrading to a PC. Number five, my boy Zazzle HD. I think I said that correctly. Zazzle. Zazel. Number question. Blah, 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 blah question number five is from a friend of mine zazzle hd he's also a streamer himself his question is how close are you to just saying 
effort and going full time with streaming. Going full time with streaming is one of the main things and one of the biggest achievements that I want to reach. Um, streaming full time is very difficult. It really is. I think especially when you have bills to pay on the side and when it comes to streaming, your salary is never confirmed. And that is one of the main threats you have when you decide to go full time. Um, I think the only time I'd be able to go full time is if I got a sponsor along those lines that were obviously willing to pay me a salary and everything like that. Um, but it's it's a very 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 difficult difficult choice. Um, if you are thinking about doing it, it is a, it is a choice that will either change your life for the better or, yeah, it could go very south. But you never know unless you try. So hopefully one day. Question number six from X Short Boy, one of my moderators on stream and a streamer himself. You are given five thousand pound. What do you do with it and why? If I was given £5,000, I'd probably give a majority of it to my mother just to say thank you for everything. Um, and the rest would probably go on bills that I'm paying off at the moment. <laughs> but uh, I would probably add a bit of it to my setup too. So it would be a bit of give and take really. Um, yeah, I would, I would probably try upgrade my setup in any way that I could. In any way that I could. Question number seven is from Dante. What inspired you to stream and sub to Dante Reacts? <laughs> I love that. What inspired me to stream? I think it was a lot of uh, influential people that I was watching on Twitch. One of my, well, two of my favorite streamers that actually got me into streaming was CDN the Third, who I still watch to this day, and of course the Great Hamlins, um, who I feel as if my personality kind of, uh, kind of mixes with his to a certain extent. Um, those are the two two big parts uh, when it came to streaming and the two people that i looked at thinking you know what i kind of have these guys personality why not try this and thank god i did thank god i did dude question number eight i think i've lost my mind here i don't actually know what question we're on but i'm just gonna go with eight it's from david's uh, aka waters another view in the stream thank you for the question bro any advice or tips on how to grow on twitch one of the most common questions that i hear and it's it's a very very difficult one to to, to answer to be honest um Okay, let me keep it 100 with you guys, and this is probably the best advice I could give you. One is consistency, depending on how consistent you are, will be how you grow on Twitch. People are not going to be able to watch you unless you're actually streaming. That's number one. Number two, well, don't worry about numbers. Numbers will come eventually. They will come. You need to stick to your grind. I would say the main thing about streaming is try create friendships, which is networking. To a certain extent, you need to try create friendships instead of actually worrying about viewers, and that bond will start where people will actually come watch you for you um another bit of advice i could say is just be yourself man just be yourself that is the biggest thing and any the biggest bit of advice you could give to anybody just be yourself just be yourself bro it'll come it will come 100 percent. it's it's a very very difficult question and it's quite repetitive for me but those three things i would say be yourself networking and the main thing being consistent and enjoy it of course that's a, a massive one too enjoy it okay question number nine i think do you wish avidity was a thing people who don't know and whoever's just clocked into this question i used to run a fortnite team called avidity um it was like a brotherhood <laughs> a brotherhood um some really nice guys in there some people who have grown really well through avidity and everything like that uh do i wish avidity was still a thing i don't play fortnite so no I, I, I don't wish it was still a thing, but uh, very good question. Slick, I appreciate that, my brother. Thank you so much, dude. Okay, we move on to question number 10. Sal, were you going to go to Insomnia I-66 if Corona wasn't a thing? Yes, I was going to Corona I-66. Corona I-66. I was actually due to stream from Insomnia. Uh, big shout out to Extreme PCs. They uh, gave me the opportunity to actually stream from Insomnia. Unfortunately, got cancelled, uh, but... As a famous person once said, not a famous person, but as once, as a wise man once said, it is what it is. So we move on. Hopefully the next one will be on. And boom, number 11. Question number 11. <laughs> Vince Ennis, another streamer, you legend. What's your opinion on joining an organization for large slash small content creators? Very good question. Very, very good question. And I think you've asked me this in real life. Um, when joining an organization, you need to think of a lot of key things. Who is the owner? How does he run his organization? Or how does she run their organization? Or her organization is the correct English term, England term. 
Um, you need to think, how is it going to benefit you as a streamer? A lot of people need to remember when you started streaming, if you do have people coming into your chat and interacting with you, you've built a community. Joining an organization, you are pretty much uh, opening up your community to an organization. You need to think, how is it going to benefit you and how will you be able to benefit the organization? Uh, a lot of things you need to think about, dude. Um, at the end of the day, I don't really think everyone needs to join an organization. I know a lot of people try for teams, for uh, lots of organizations. It's not needed. Worry about building yourself, man. Worry about building yourself at the end of the day. And once you think you're ready, let it come to you. Don't try join an organization. Let it come to you. That's my best advice I can give you, bro. And I hope that helps. Okay, we move to number 11. One of the cutest guys on Twitch, I am Project. If you could have any hairstyle in the world, what would you choose? I don't think I can talk about hairstyles. I really don't. Uh, my favorite hairstyle would be dreads. I used to have dreads a few months ago and I absolutely loved it. That was my favorite hairstyle. And yeah, I, I if I could go back, I really would. I really, really would. Hopefully I will go back when I go back to Africa. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I would I, I would want to know what your answer to that is too, Project. If you read, if you actually watch this YouTube if you can i england if you actually watch this youtube video please put in the comments what your favorite hairstyle would be thanks for the question as well brother i've lost it i think we're on question 22 now <laughs> right we move on to another one from the cutie nathan robinson if you had an option to visit one country what would it be can't have visited already <laughs> that's a really good question i actually don't know uh one question one 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 option to visit one country what would it be that's not the question. If you had the option to visit one country, what would it be? It would be New Zealand. I would love to go to New Zealand. I've never been to New Zealand. I love the Maori culture. They are absolutely incredible people. Um, I've met a few Maori people and just their mentality of being just laid back, relaxed. It's it's incredible, man. And I, 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 I kind of inspire to be like them, dude. If you know anybody who's Maori, you would know what I'm talking about. They're very laid back people very relaxed very down to earth which yeah is a really incredible feature to have and new zealand would be my answer to that i love you another question from my boy stevie d another streamer a Fortnite streamer you guys should check him out he's an absolute legend what are your biggest achievements so far as a streamer um b -b 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 a really good question stevie thank you for that my brother uh, where do I start? My biggest achievement will probably be my highest sub count that we've hit this month. 1,200 subscribers. I literally cannot thank you guys enough for that because it's not me. It's you guys. Um, just thank you to everyone for the support. I can never in a million years thank you guys enough. And I would have never have thought this I would be here at this stage. So massive shout out. Another big achievement for me is yesterday. In fact, today is the... 16th so if you're watching this a bit later today 16th well yesterday i can't speak yesterday the 15th of may i finally managed to purchase my first pc which if you don't know the backstory i put in my discord the other day uh, i started streaming on a ps4 um i wanted to take this a bit more seriously i was in the uk i didn't have a cent to my name um I came over by myself, no family, nothing like that. So my mother said, here's 500 uh, pounds, go buy yourself a PC. I ended up buying a secondhand PC or Facebook, uh, but it was a start. And I was able to upgrade it slowly but surely through the community's help. Uh, but yesterday, 15th of May, I managed to buy my first PC, which I can actually call mine. Um, I will be able to use the dual setup now, which is a dream come true. And it was one of the main things I wanted to do when I started this out. Um, so those two, I would say are my biggest achievements, man. Uh, if you are watching this video too, Stevie, please let me know in the comments what your biggest achievement is, bro. I'd love to hear that. Thank you. Question 122. Charles YouTube says phase or side men. Um, personally, phase i i know jasper phase jasper the fitness coach who's in phase uh, and the way he speaks about phase it really is an incredible bond um so i would pick phase every time 100 percent. question 233 just saying do you regret quitting cricket such a good question i came over to the uk to play cricket i was a semi-professional wasn't very good but um I, you could say I was slightly talented in it. So I came over to the UK to actually do it. Um, after three years, I think my love for the game eventually died uh, just because after school, it was drilled into me. Summer, winter, summer, winter. Every single year I was playing cricket. As I say, I went to Australia. I went 
I was all over Africa, uh, in the UK. So I didn't have any time to myself. When I found the love for gaming, um, I realized I could do this. I could actually put more time into gaming. And that's when I quit cricket. So no, the way I'm going at the moment, just saying thank you for the question. But I do not regret critting, critting, quitting, critting, critting, quitting cricket. <laughs> Okay, question 523 is from JD, an absolute sweetheart, and she's in the Discord too. I appreciate your support, girl. Thank you for the question. If you could only use one social media platform to post on, which one and why? Social media platform for a streamer, you have to be on Twitter. Twitter is like the LinkedIn for streaming. If you're not on Twitter, create an account, get involved. 100% it is the best platform, I think, in order to meet new streamers and obviously to, to create an audience too. Twitter is, without a doubt, my favorite platform to be on. And I hope it's yours too. If you're watching this video, you let me know. I'd love to know the answer to your question too. Is that English? I hope it is. But we move on to the next question. Okay. Question 526 now. It's a vague rower. This is the editor's brother, by the way. Can you go back to Fortnite Customs? Hell to the no, to the no, to the no, to the no. Zoom into that shit. Double. No, no, no. Customs is horrible. I will never go back to customs. Um, yeah, customs was uh, probably one of the main things that nearly made me finish creating content and making me end. Uh, just because when you don't do customs, you don't see the same amount of growth. People just come for the customs, um, which I'm very, very glad I managed to get out of and start my own thing. But no, I will never go back to Fortnite customs. Okay, uh, we are on question 623 now. Ethan says, why did you quit Fortnite? That shit will get you hundreds of views. 10,000 views. Will get you lots of views. We'll go with that. Uh, Ethan, I quit Fortnite because I don't enjoy the game at all. Um, they don't listen to the community. Um, and realistically, it's not a game I would see myself playing. I didn't enjoy it that much. I started to fall out of love with it, I think, after season six or seven. When they added the mechs, I think that's when Fortnite went down the drain. Um... For me, personally, that's a personal opinion, so please don't fry me. But I know a lot of people who watch me still play Fortnite, still stream Fortnite. So if you enjoy the game, man, that's all that matters. You do you. That's all that matters. But yeah, I didn't enjoy Fortnite. I did not want that community following me. Um, yeah, it's uh, a tricky question to ask, Ethan, but I'm kind of glad I left Fortnite. Question 922 is from Mystic Links, one of my mods and another streamer himself. If you could start again with streaming, what would you change about your content? I would change absolutely nothing, I don't think. If I could start again, um, that's actually a good question, thinking about it. If I could start again, if I could start again, if I could start again, uh, I wouldn't do Fortnite Customs. I hope that answers your question. If I could start again, I would have just started with basing my community around my content instead of Fortnite and Fortnite customs. That's what I would do. Ladies and gentlemen, that brings a close to the Q&A. Thank you to everyone who was involved. I really appreciate the questions. They were really, really good questions. Um, this is more of a serious video, I think. Not really our joking self, but for a change, I actually enjoyed it. Thank you to everyone who participated on Instagram. If you guys haven't followed my socials, I'm going to put a pop-up somewhere here. Somewhere on the screen, so you can... Uh, check my Instagram name and hopefully drop me a follow, interact with me on Instagram. Uh, as I say, every single YouTube video, I stream daily on Twitch. People are not going to say daily, but I stream a lot on Twitch. If you haven't followed already, it is twitch.tv forward slash the caramel gamer. Please feel free to join in. We are an incredible community. We are building so quickly. Um, and everyone is welcome. Everyone is welcome. Thank you once again to everyone who's joined into the video. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Please let me know if you want to see more of these or what else we can do. Um, just thank you if you've managed to get to the end of the video. Leave a thumbs up. If you haven't subbed already, please sub. Um, but yeah, any feedback would be appreciated. Have a good day. Bye.